Hello everybody, today we're going to go through the first part of what is sure to be a long series. Um, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Uh, the closet's called The Deegans because it's named after us and we're not super creative. All right, now, this is the first part of a box with 110 items. It weighed 61 pounds. It did not come from Poshmark. Instead, my wife bought it off of uh, someone on Instagram. Um, they go by, you see here, fashion, fashion without trashing. Although, there's no spaces, so that may be some long, impronounceable Cthulian word. Probably not. Anyway, they currently don't have any more available. Um, my wife did try to get another one today, um, but she failed to do so um, because they had sold out. Um, so... With all that being said, let's get right into it. Now, I've kind of set some aside, so we're just going to get through this whole box, and then I'm going to shoot some more, and then we'll go through those. All right. Up first, we have a Uniqlo vest, and there's actually... This is a medium. There's actually... Um, Buttons, there's kind of buttons on the inside, so you can wear it with this, like that, with this V, or kind of buttons to, buttons there, buttons there, if you wanted to wear it like, like this, and have it be, go all the way up, um, keep you a little bit warmer. Uh, there are no sleeves, but if we look at our next item, we see another Uniqlo vest, um, and it's the same, except for this one has sleeves, so it's not a vest, it's another light jacket, and it also has the buttons on the inside, as well as um, that can kind of make it a V or make it a um, go all the way up. And I don't know if I showed the label on the last one or not, but it was identical to that one. Um, so. There you go. And I believe this style of um, pocketed vest, pocketed jacket was um, invented by Eddie Bauer, um, the same guy who does has the store. And that's just a little trivia that I can introduce while I get out my next item, which is a BCBG Maxazar, Maxa, Maxa. Maxazoa, Maxazera, Maxazera. There, we'll just say, we'll just cover, we'll just cover that part up and just, it's a B, B, C, B, G. And this is a, it's a top. Um, it's got the little window in the front, uh, which I always identify as very Kryptonian. Um, if you watch my videos, you know why I say that. And this does have these beads around the top. Um, I did check all the beads are there, so that's always something you need to check with these, um, with the clothing that does have some kind of sequins, or especially with the beads. Um, sequins, you can kind of get away with one or two missing because there's just so many of them, but not with beads. All right, up next we have another black piece. Uh, this is a Lucky Brand small uh, sweater. And this is actually, there it is, new tags. Um, I knew there's some new tags in here. Um, I not can't remember which ones are which. Um, anyway, oh, this even has the sticker on it. Yes, yeah, so I remember shooting this because uh, I wasn't sure if I should take that sticker off or not. I just left it on. Um, figure that adds to the uh, adds to the newness. If you can see that, hey, someone didn't just wear this with the tags. They actually just never wore this. Or maybe they did, and they just went out with a sticker on it. Who knows? Um, anyway, this is a 
this is a sweater and it has the high high neck that I think you can wear this well with this one I think you can't quite wear it up because it's not really tight but it does keep your neck nice and warm so that should do good once it gets cold again or if it remains cold okay up next we have a loft small new with tags and this is a black shirt and um, we actually had a little incident with loft um, we had a mix-up with some of our shipping and um, two loft pieces sold and they went to the wrong people but it was first time mix-up um, Poshmark uh, has a protocol in place for fixing that so and we're really sorry about that um, it was my mistake because I am doing all the packing now so I feel really bad about it um, but it seems to be getting fixed so we'll probably just give those two customers a uh, some discount in the future if they want it or I don't know anyway this is from out from under um, which is apparently Guatemalan um, and it's a small, it's a small, um, what would that be? A, that would be a, would it be a bathing suit? I guess that would be a, uh, ones? I don't want to say onesie because that's not, I can't, the word escapes me. Leotard maybe? Workout? Tights? Tank top with a bottom? I don't know. Uh, but it did look really nice, um, and fit really nice on the mannequin, so... Um, I think that'll definitely do well, especially as we get into the warmer months. Maybe someone will want to wear that underneath something. Okay, up next we have a boho. This is a size 12, and this is another um, this is another spandex leotard. Um, this one does is not attached at the bottom. It does have the two buttons, um, and you know when these things just they look really good on our on our mannequin the, with the way the legs come down, and you really could not do these justice on hangers so I'm glad we have the mannequin for those all right up next we have another lucky brand dress um, yeah and nothing no buttons or anything on this so it's just a dress it does look a little wrinkly um, so must have got wrinkly from the box oh it does have a drawstring right there so um, I do not like using drawstrings in the photos because I never know what to do with them. All right, let's see what's next. Up next, we have a Zara Basic. Um, this is a medium, and it is a dress with a little flower <laughs> up at the top and. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but it does kind of come off a little bit. So I don't know if that's meant to give it a kind of a 3D look. <coughs> Excuse me. Or, <coughs> boy, if it's meant to, um, or if it's just peed the golf. All right. I have been talking quite a bit. So I'm going to take a short break, grab some water, and get back to going right through this box. Uh-oh, how do I do this? And welcome back. Um, let's let's keep going. Um, this is gonna be a longer video than usual. And I'm trying not to um I'm trying not to leave any dead space. Um, not the game. The original game's actually pretty good, but not any just non just eerie silence. Okay, so with that babbling out of the way, this is a Luca Lux. Uh, this is a small, says, did it say small? This looks a little big to be a small, uh, but it is a fuzzy sweater with a, um, eh, I don't know if I'd call it a turtleneck because it doesn't really, it's not really tight enough to be a turtleneck, but it is, definitely goes up the neck. Um, I don't know if that would be a turtleneck or not, but it definitely will keep, definitely is warm. Feels really nice. Like, this is something you could get, crawl right into 
and just sit on the couch all day. Or you could wear out. Either or. Very comfortable feeling. Okay, up next we have a Barney's New York. Um, and this sweater, it, you know, I, I got really excited seeing that it was Barney's, but um, as I shot it, I noticed it had a couple of, uh, had just a couple of minor holes in it, like right, right in the upper back, and um, I think there was a couple on the bottom here, so I don't know, um, I did make sure to photograph all of those, um, get up real close. I don't know how good, um, I don't know how good of a brand Barney's is, I mean, I've heard of it, so it must have some um, appeal. I don't know if it'll be good enough to sell with flaws or if we'll have to um, if we'll have to bundle it or redonate it or whatever we do. Okay, up next we have a. This is another one of those. Um, I guess I guess this is swim. This I feel like is swim pair. Some swimwear. This is a free people. Intimacy. That'll focus. Have none of my labels been showing? I just looked at my monitor. Um, and this one does have the two buttons. Um, like I said, these this style of um, th this style um, with the bottom. This, these just end up looking really good on the mannequin. Um, so, and we actually did sell um, a couple of them uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, I think there are some from the workout haul. Uh, if you want to go back and watch that video, if I remember, I'll put a card there to uh, remind you. Okay, up next we have a Boho Night. Um, this is a size 10, and this was another another piece. I know I've said this about a lot of the pieces, but this is another piece that really could not be just hung up uh, because it has kind of the, well, as you can see, it's got, oh, there went my mic. Set right back up and test test. Okay, <laughs> I'll have to edit that out. Um, anyway, as you see, it has like the the piece for the chest, um, the the part that goes around the neck, and um, really leaves leaves the midriff exposed, and then goes into a, a dress. But you really couldn't hang that up because there's no no real place for shoulders. So you would either hang it up under there and end up like that. Or you'd hang up around the neck and you'd end up like that, and none of that is good. But on the mannequin, um, you really get to see how it wears, and it just it looks really nice. So I think that's going to be definitely a fast seller. All right, up next we have a what is this? A Dolan uh, Left Coast Collection. Um, this is a extra small. Um, I think that's S, is that X or is that the size? Um, maybe that's the size. <laughs> uh, this is 100% rayon, and um, it does include a belt which ties, so once again, I don't really know what to do with that. And I think this was a little bit too big to put on the mannequin, if I remember correctly, uh, the legs mannequin. So. Ended up having to hang it up, and um, really don't like to do that. But um, with the photo booth, um, hanging up isn't too bad. All right. Um, so I know I already did this, but we're going to take another short break so I can get some more water and we can continue through this all. And welcome back. Um, so, oh, I grabbed two pieces there. Um, so we'll look at that one next. This one is a Oxy. Um, I don't, th I think this is, yeah, it's an Oxy. This is a US 12 and it is a top, I guess, I, I guess this would be a cami, um, maybe, because uh, it does have those little spaghetti straps and it's kind of, kind of short like a cami, but it does have this extra um, layer here. And it does have this uh, non, not really functional tie in the front. Um, there, it doesn't really adjust, so that's kind of just there for decoration. I don't even know. Uh, it does untie, but I'm not going to untie it because I don't want to make it look 
I don't want to make it look bad when I try to retie it. Um, yeah, so that was that. <coughs> All right, up next we have an HD in Paris. Uh, this is a US size four, and it is a off-white shirt that was just, just dark enough to where I could shoot it with the white background and it didn't look horrible. So I was able to shoot it without having to put up the black background. Um, okay, continuing on. Um, this is an American apparel and this is a small, but this is very, very small. Um, I mean, it still fit on the mannequin because it is um, it's it is stretchy. Um, see if I can see the materials here. Yeah, it's thirty five percent nylon, so that gives it a lot of stretch. So I was able to get it on her and um, ended up looking great. <laughs> All right, little little drink of my oh not my water, my Mountain Dew, keep me awake recording this video very late at night uh, because I had something out of this package that sold and I want to get it packed up but I can't do that until I shoot so up next we have an express uh, this is a small or petite the tags kind of coming off a little bit there um, so I have to be very careful so I don't rip off the tag but this is a sequined dress now I didn't see any major spots where the um, sequins were missing um, it is very shiny though um, no, no spots where the sequins were missing, um, and with the sequins you kind of just look for a bald, for bald spots because you're never gonna know if all the sequins are there. There's just too many of them to count, and they're not in a regular pattern, so you'll drive yourself insane trying. Okay, up next we have this very unique. <coughs> Pat, Pat Rizza Pepe sweater, and I say very unique because look at this. These arms are very long, so you could really keep your entire hand in there if you wanted to keep your hands warm in the winter. It's got this huge, huge neck, um, It's gonna so you don't need to wear a scarf. And it had this thing, which confused me. Um, so it zips, it's got this little zipper right here to kind of give it like a, make it make it kind of wear a little bit irregular, but that unzips and then it falls down and then it kind of hangs low. So I think you are not supposed to unzip this. Um, when I shot it, I shot it with both zipped and, and unzipped and when it unzips, it completely detaches. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know which way you're supposed to wear it. Um, I think with the zipper zipped though, um, but You'd have, I'd have to look and see when my wife listed it, what she actually, um, which picture she decides to use. All right, up next we have a Super Down. And this is a, a pink sweater, um, really fuzzy, um, very soft too. I wonder what the materials are on this. Um, let's see if I can find that. 50% acrylic, 50% polymade. Um, made in China and it's a small sweater um, it does have it does um, have it, it is a little bit short so it will kind of show the midriff um, I believe you'll see that in the pictures on the mannequin and that's all right and last last and I'm gonna have to record the other the other box I set aside um, <clears throat> Next is another loft. Uh, this is last. Uh, this is a skirt, and these skirts just ended up looking really good on the legs mannequin. So I'm really happy to get skirts. They're really easy to put on and really easy to shoot now, and they look really good on the on the leg mannequin. So definitely happy to get skirts. Um, think we'll be selling a lot more skirts thanks to that, thanks to those legs. All right. So what did I think of this first part of the box? I think that was around 20ish items. Um, a little more than 20 items. I think about 22, maybe. I don't know. If you counted, put a comment. Um, 
<clears throat> anyway, I like I liked a lot of these items. Uh, they're all in really good condition, um, with the ex the one exception being that uh, Barney's um, having a few holes in them. But again, I'm not really familiar enough with Barney's to say if that will sell with flaws or not. Uh, but the other items um, are all very good. Um, they are they are a bit more sweaters, so I don't know that people will necessarily be shopping for them. Um, we are now officially, um, as of this recording, in spring. So I'm recording this on the 20th. Um, so we're in spring. Um, weather is getting warmer. Um, I think up here it was in the 60s today, so snow's all gone. Um, you know, just not not necessarily needing to wear a jacket when I walk the dogs. Um, but... <clears throat> So the warmer weather is coming, so definitely some of those t those um, lighter clothings will, I think they'll sell really, really quick. The sweaters might sit until fall, winter, um, but that's fine. All right, so if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, check back on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the other parts of this, uh, this incredibly long series. I'm going to take a quick break and then I'm going to record another video because the thing that sold was not in that box, so i got to go through more. All right, I'll see you.